survey suggests that 2013 is among the top 10 warmest years since records began more than 160 years ago. The report released by the World Meteorological Organization says excessive flooding and frequent drought will continue into the unforeseen future. Kenyan meteorologists say cases of island malaria and related problems could increase in light of the new report. Okay, TN's Joe Agay reports on the latest finding that comes amid growing incidents of extreme weather disasters. From the air, the fields of Johor in southern Somalia couldn't tell it any better. And the humanitarian crisis on the ground proves it. This is the latest hotspot in a series of extreme weather events that are now the worry of the entire globe. Here thousands take refuge at the Amisom base in Johor after the river Shabele burst its banks amid the heavier than normal rainfall following the Horn of Africa's worst tropical cyclone in years. Ali Haji Wehelo inspects the construction of a makeshift structure. Like the other displaced persons sheltering here, he treks for dozens of kilometers to escape the floods. The rains and floods have brought problems, he says. They have increased the hunger. Our farms have been submerged. Unless we receive help, we will not have anything left. But now a new report released by the World Meteorological Organization says the troubles of people like Ali may only get worse. So the news are not good news. The report the news to coincide are... with the ongoing climate talks in Warsaw suggests that 2013 is keeping with the pattern. Joining the list of the top 10 warmest years since records began in 1850. This year is worse than last year. 2011. 2011 was worse than 2010. Dr. Peter Ambeje of the Kenya Meteorological Department has monitored weather patterns for decades now. And he says Kenya too has every reason to worry. We've heard of uh, highland malaria occurring in places like Garicho, Kamega, Kisi, where we initially we did not have uh, those kind of uh, episodes, mainly because of temperatures have increased. Now with so much at stake at this meeting, this report is bound to provide for a sobering moment on the need to assist those who are already affected and the urgency of stopping the gases that caused the problem in the first place. Jorgeo, KTN, Warsaw, Poland.